morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, today is a very, very exciting day. I don't know if any of you have watched my birthday vlog, but basically, I was going to go to Bista Village for my birthday with my mum, and that just hasn't happened. It's currently the 17th of December, my birthday was the 20th of June. <laughs> So we're six months later and that's not happened, but we're now gonna go and do it as like a birthday and Christmas present, like mixed together. So yeah, today's gonna be a little, oh, if anyone doesn't know what Bista Village is, it's like a shop, shopping centre, like designer outlet shopping centre um, in Oxfordshire, I think, I'm not really sure. Yeah, we're gonna go there today, so we're just about to get in the car, it's like 9am very early but we want to get there nice and early because you have to like digitally queue and stuff so if anyone's looking to go i'll like show you how you do all that um let me show you my outfit for the day so we have a nice little like cream roll neck from zara we also have this skirt that i bought from zara probably like three or four years ago so i doubt it would still be on the website but i don't know maybe it'll be on depop or something and then my boot boots from nasty gal so yeah, loving the little outfit. We're also gonna bring my black bag from Nasty Gal and my teddy coat. Let me pop it on. So we have our outfit all together with the bag. Honestly, this coat is like a full-on dressing gown. It's actually so nice. Like, if I'm cold, I'll just wrap up and it'll be great. So yeah, this is the full fit. I've done my hair in like half up, half down curly bits. And then I've also got these little earrings. These little like pearl earrings from Stradivarius. I got a whole set from Stradivarius for eight pounds and it was like nine sets of earrings. So it's like less than a pound for an earring, which I'll definitely want to get my hands on. So I'll try and link them below if they have them online. But yeah, we're just about to head off. So I'll see you in the car. If you do enjoy the video, then obviously don't forget to give it a like and please subscribe as well. And yeah, let's go shopping. <laughs> so we're still in the car. It's like an hour left, is it? No, just under. I just thought I'd show you. I got the Vista Village app, my little rose down there. So basically it's got the map on it. You can go through and look as you're shopping. And then also you can look at your favourites. You can go through and like browse the boutiques and then pick your favourites there, the little star. And then if there's any that you really want to go to, like you know you're not gonna miss them. So, yeah, I thought that was a good little thing. Just seen some horses, which were really cute. But yeah, I'm very excited. Okay, so we've made it. I'm not being funny. <laughs> it's so busy. I don't know if you can see. The whole village car park is like completely packed. But we're gonna go try and book some stuff. So, let's go. The gate is massive as usual. That's a cute little benefit store in there. I'm gonna start off at Fendi. Very cute. Do take on my phone once again right to you. I'm really bored. Look at this tree. I'm really excited for like tonight when it's all like lit up. Probably like some picture. I think we'll probably eat in there. Cafe Woolsey. But yeah, we just went in Fendi and there wasn't really anything that great. So carrying on. Coming to the white company. I just feel like I live Ellie Derby vibes through this. Smells so good in here. Really cute little Christmas decorations. Fat wreaths. Might get some wrapping paper because it's only 90p. It was three pounds originally. Oh my god, that's such a good deal. The Miss Bar Boy. Very cute. It's at 455. We're on our way to Prada. I've just seen that my makeup's come off and my mask's been on, so that's nice. Should have brought out concealer with me, but hey ho. Um, we want to go put our name on a list if we used to put on a list. So that's what we're doing. Oh, there it is. So yeah, we're going to go to Prada and then we can be more chill with where we go and maybe get coffee. We're in Ralph Lauren. Let's have a look around. Forgot to say, the queue for Prada literally cl closed as soon as we got there, so we're gonna have to wait a bit longer to get in there. I love with this outfit. That is so nice. That leather trench and those trousers. The vibe looks so cute. <laughs> 
Ted Baker and they've got like a wine bar at the back. There's a post office. I'm confused as to what this, <laughs> this shop is. It's not really a post office. No. The fitting rooms is a barber's. It's so cute. Sadly closed. Uh, very cute. Look how cute these shoes are. They've got little wings on the back. It's called Sophia Webster. I'm not sure if I've heard of it before. Little wings. Wings here, I love a little butterfly at the back. Very cute. Right, we're in prep, having a coffee. I've never had an oat milk cappuccino from prep before, so we're gonna give it a go. Mm, tastes a little bit different. Basically, just been told that we're going into tier three on Saturday, which is really, really sad. Um, we can't go out on Christmas Eve saddest thing but just ask the girls if anyone wants to go out tonight and then we'll go out tomorrow and then we'll be locked down again so tragic but hey ho what can you do just gonna enjoy what we can and at least we can spend christmas with our families so yeah that's it but yeah gonna enjoy this and then we're gonna go to the dior store for half 12 to try and get in the virtual queue we've just got into the queue for dior the virtual queue at 14 i think so we're going into Malton brown now Mum got some purchases, signing Christmas presents. So we're in coach and this bag was originally 400 and now 150 and it's huge, like a proper good handbag so definite possibility. Just found this one and it's actually 109 so even cheaper and bigger. I think I like it more you know. Bye. chicken and avocado salad it's a bit smaller than i thought but it'll probably be nice but some chips they look really good mum got eggs benedict and some veg gonna dig in got my seco cheers to two three <laughs> these chips so good oh my god this looks insane we've got a salted caramel shoe and a pear tata rum and raisin yum right it's literally huge Mm. Mm. Prada queue is still closed, so decided to come back in here. Very cute. I love the little butterfly vibes they have. So pretty. Burberry. I love this coat. I think that's stunning. It makes you see, look how pretty these are. They're so full from lunch, but very pretty. Okay, so we're just sitting at Matrix Shoe. Got some water. We're waiting for Praja. We're in the queue, number 23. I definitely recommend making sure this needs to go. I definitely recommend making sure you have a charger if your phone's like really bad at charging. So I've literally had to be on it all day in all the digital queues and stuff. So if you've got like an older phone, because I used to have a 7 and that literally ran out of charge so quick definitely bring a portable charger with you if you're gonna come but i'm fingers crossed i'm gonna find something in prada that i really like made it into prada finally let's see if we can find a bag walking back now it's looking so pretty with the lights and everything we finished off in prada and i'm a happy bunny i'm gonna show you later what i got good day very good day long day my feet are in agony <laughs> but just off to the car park. Hi, so we're back. It's been a long old day. I think it's like half seven, nearly eight. I'm so excited. Like, words can't really describe, like, how excited I am. Should we start with a little bit? Okay, so this 
is something that I treated myself to. Little bag here. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's just like all oh, so gorgeously done. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have to keep that box forever. Prada box. I might put my earrings in it because at the moment I keep them in a Swarovski earring box. It's all so pretty. Oh my god. Stunning. Okay, so I got myself a little like card holder kind of purse vibe. Got the classic Prada logo. They had ones with the updated Prada logo, but basically the bag that my mum got me is the classic Prada logo. And I thought this is more like timeless. This will kind of be like in fashion forever. Like I'll like this logo forever. Whereas like the little triangle might, I don't know. I might stop liking it when I'm like 30 or whatever. And hopefully I'll have this forever. So yeah, just very, very classic little card holder. It's got the price in there. I'll take that bad boy out. How cute is that? Like they just put little envelopes and stuff with prices and stuff on. So we've got two main sections for like coins and notes and then one and two card sections on either side of the card holder and yeah that's pretty much it. it's just really really cute. It's under 200 so a nice enough discount basically. So that's the first thing I got and then mama okay now this is like so Really? It's got the little duffel bag. Open it up. Mm. Okay, got the little tag off. The tag has like a tiny little gold detailing at the bottom there, which again is just really cute. It's something like something extra. I think you can put like a key ring on it. This thing moves up. That is so cute. You can put like, you know how they have like little like pom poms on some bags and just like things like that. Say so if you wanted to personalize with it, maybe if you had like a Prada key ring or something, you could put that on the bag. That's really cute. Now, this is one of my like favorite parts about the bag, is it has two zips. I don't know why that's so cool, but like instead of one, there's two. So say if like one went dodgy or something, or you never have to cheat, like <laughs> feel for your zip in your bag if it's on, on your shoulder because they're on both sides. So I don't know why I really like that little detail. There's actually unbelievable amounts of paper on this. It was brand new, so it's probably why. I just love how everything has like the Prada embossing on it, like on every little bit of metal, like the clasp for the second strap says Prada and the zips say Prada. Okay, so let's start with this. So how cute that they both match. Like I just love it. They're like a bit different leathers, but I just way preferred this leather in the card holder. So I thought, you know, it's worth a tiny bit of different leather we get the same logo. So we have three different ways of wearing it. Um, I mean, I know. So the first is literally just holding it like this by your side. The second is with like this long strap and you, there's like a few different ways, like because it's adjustable, like a sort of belt. So you can like adjust the length to your height. And then my mum said, if I want to wear it as like a shoulder bag, like it might be too big. So I'm going to like look what it would look like. We can go get a hole put in especially by someone to make the strap even shorter. And then I'll have an even shorter bag. So it'd be like long crossbody. Oh, so that's like four ways of wearing it. You can have it crossbody, long on the shoulder, short on the shoulder or holding it. It's just extremely versatile if you ask me. So then on the inside, there's like so many different compartments. I don't know if you can see the material. Oh, and she's out. But it's got really nice like material on the inside. We've got one compartment at the back, which doesn't have a zip. We've got another compartment at the front, which does have a zip. So it's like phone, passport kind of vibes, card holder maybe kind of vibes. And then it's honestly just huge on the inside. Like it's one of those like Mary Poppins bags, I feel like. Because it doesn't look huge when you hold it. It's actually gonna fit so much in there, especially my camera, which is always key. But yeah, I just honestly, I'm so, so happy. I've never bought a designer item before. I've never owned a designer item before. Like, I don't think anything, I don't really count like Tommy Hilfiger or Ralph Lauren. Mm, Ralph Lauren's a bit more expensive to be fair. I have a fake Louis Vuitton from Hong Kong. So again, that doesn't count. This is my first real new baby. Well, two. And I just feel like they both make each other even more exciting because they're mat. So it's like two things. It's like a win-win-win, if you get me. So, yeah. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it as much as I have, please don't forget to give it a like and do subscribe as well if you're new because I'm going into tier three, so it'd be a really great present for us up in tier three, not being able to celebrate Christmas Eve and New Year's and all that stuff. So if you would kindly subscribe, that'd be great. And yeah, I will see you really soon with a new video. Bye.